Hi guys, it's me. How are all of you? Welcome. Hi guys, it's me. Hi guys, it's me. How are all of you? Welcome back. Ugh. Hi guys, it's me. How are all of you? Do I have? Oh, please tell me I don't have lipstick on my teeth. I think uh, Europe. F I don't remember. I think it's no friends. Fr ugh. I mean, May is my birthday month. Today is actually Saturday. Tomorrow is my birthday. So that's the reason why I feel I, I really went overboard. Hi guys, it's me. How are all of you? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. So today I'm coming at you with a haul. Obviously, I have bought uh, several designer t-shirts that I wanted to share with you guys and um, also a new pair of shoes. So because I feel that there's going to be a lot of rambling, let's get right into it with the first t-shirt. So um, this is actually a t-shirt that I wanted to get ever since last year. In fact, this t-shirt, I have to admit, is very, very last year. But last year, I didn't get it. I don't know why, but I just had it in the back of my mind. I wanted it, I wanted it, I wanted it. And um, it's pretty much still available. So I thought, well, if it's still available, available, it can't be to 2017. So I thought, and I don't really care. I like it and I want to get it. And I still have all the tags on it. Like Luisa Via Roma has this major security tag system, which Mainly because I still haven't worn all these t-shirts yet because it's spring, but it's not completely t-shirt season. You know, you do need like long sleeves still. So I'm waiting to wear these t-shirts. Anyway, enough. This is the first t-shirt and it is the infamous Saint Laurent no, is it no smoking? Yeah, yeah. no smoking with a no smoking logo and um, yeah. I freaking love it. Um, you do recognize this t-shirt, right? This was what everybody was wearing last year. And they have two versions of this t-shirt. Um, they have it in black and white. And they have it with the small logo on the side. So on your boot, basically. And they have it with the big logo in the front. And I was very, very in doubt which one to get. But I think on Luisa Via Roma, when I placed the order, this was the only one available. So, and I love both of them equally. Like, if I would have to purchase it now, again, I would still be in doubt because I love the small logo and the big one just as much. So, yeah, uh, quite a while ago, I was talking to my friend Rebecca, who, oh, she's so patient, I tell you that girl, who was listening to all my rambles, and I said, you know what, I think for me, because I have the boobs and because I have a little bit of um, a tummy, I said, I think the small logo is better because you can see it better. Where else, um, on the big logo with all the things going on, maybe you can't see the logo properly. <laughs> I don't even know if that makes sense. Anyway, I'm happy I got this t-shirt and yeah, I can't wait to wear it. I'm going to say this for all the t-shirts. Can't wait to wear it because I'm dying to wear my designer t-shirts. I am ready for summer. And then, in that same order, I also got this t-shirt from a French brand, which is quite new to me. I've never heard it before. It's called Maison La Biche, I think. Yes, Maison La Biche. This t-shirt is actually very accessible price-wise. I think it's about 50 euros or 55 euros. So, you know, not impossibly priced, but it is very, very cute. It's um, basically they have the series, a series of all white t-shirts and with a little slogan or a word or whatever on the side. And that's all the rave right now. I see many, many girls wearing this kind of plain t-shirts with just, you know, a little slogan on the side. And it's just so cute. I absolutely had to have the one that said Mademoiselle. It's a word that I really, really like. You know the sound of it? Mademoiselle. And um, I am a proud mademoiselle myself. It's so simple and plain, but at the same time, it's cute. You know, it's cute and it's nice and yeah. And I wanted to um, tell you guys that there is such a brand called Maison, Maison La Biche 
on Luisa Via Roma. It's not expensive. If you're looking for a cute t-shirt, just, you know, try this brand out. The quality is very, very good. And I think it deserves a, a shout out because um, it's great. I, I love it a lot. And then the third t-shirt I got is from Dolce & Gabbana and it is this t-shirt over here and I absolutely love it. Um, I remember seeing it first on the uh, My Theresa website. It is a new piece of the season and uh, my the, M Dolce & Gabbana t-shirts are all, you know, about the big writings and the big logos and the big drawings and... Um, it's just so, so nice and a very Italian, I have to say. They have this whole collection inspired to Sicily and to the colors and the way of uh, the way women used to dress. So it's, it's all very, very colorful and bright and I love it. So when I saw this t-shirt, I just had to have it because it says, Santa Bellezza, you can't see it, but I'll put a picture. Santa Bellezza prega per noi, which means, Holy beauty, pray for us. So and I just love that. I really, really love that because, I mean, if there is a goddess of beauty, she should look over us and give us the best of beauty. And, um, yeah. Anyway, um, it's so nice. It's white. It has the words. And it has the heart with the crown. So, yeah, very, very nice. This I actually got on the Dolce & Gabbana website itself because my size was um, out of stock on the My Theresa website. This is the only t-shirt that actually, the, the, the description itself says that it runs small because it's supposed to be quite fitted. And yeah, so instead of my usual 44, I had to go for a size 46 because I didn't want it to be super, super tight. Also because the website said, you know, size up. So I do what the website says. <laughs> so I did size up and I went for a size 46 and it looks great. And yeah, so this one too. <gasps> Can't wait to wear it. And I'm pretty sure you see a theme here. They are all white t-shirts. Mainly because, you know, we can't go wrong with a white t-shirt. You can wear it with everything. I mean, I'm going to wear these t-shirts to work. So, you know, with uh, a pair of jeans or any sort of trousers, with a skirt, they look so, so good. So, that's why it's just easier. White tee, you can never go wrong. And plus, you know, with the writings and the slogans and the drawings, it, you can see it more against a white tee, I feel. So, yeah. So, yeah, speaking of white tea, I also got this pink Balmain uh, tank top slash t-shirt. Um, I fell in love because of the color, I have to admit. Uh, this is not my first uh, Balmain tank that I have. I have the same one in black uh, when they first launched, I want to say a couple of years ago. Uh, black with the gold buttons that I got uh, green, like a military green, with the actual sleeves with gold buttons, but then when I saw that this year they made it in pink with silver hardware and the silver um, sl uh, writing, Balmain, I said I just have to have it. I have to have it. So yeah, I got this in pink as well. And these Balmain tanks really don't run uh, big. They are not uh, super uh, snug, etc. So just get your regular size and you will be pretty comfortable. And uh, obviously when I bought this tank top, I said these will look super cute with my pink Gucci loafers. <laughs> As you can see, I'm going really overboard this spring summer with the pink. I don't know what it is. People around me are starting to vomit out of the excessive pink that I'm wearing. But I just love pink this year. I don't know what it is, but I would wear pink everything. Everything every day if I could. And yes. And then there's a the last t-shirt that I want to show you guys. And I am super, super excited about this t-shirt. Words cannot express my excitement. It is unreal. So it's a t-shirt from Dior. And that alone, you know, says it all. But in particular, I've been wanting this t-shirt for the longest time. In particular, I've been wanting this t-shirt ever since, ever since the Sex and the City second movie came out. Because um, there's this scene, okay, where, and I'm sure you all know it, and you all might have already guessed what I'm talking about. Based, anyway, uh, there's this infamous scene 
of uh, Carrie and Miranda going to the souk market in Abu Dhabi. And I'm sure the first thing you think about that is uh, Ca um, Carrie's outfit. She's wearing that huge skirt and the t-shirt, okay? That t-shirt, guys. Oh my god. Ever since that movie, I'm sure all of us out there have been dreaming to get our hands on that t-shirt. It was the Jadior number 8 t-shirt. And ever since that, I have to say that that t-shirt was the most um, copied. There have been so many like little brands recreating that t-shirt. Uh, even now on, you know, Etsy and other brands, there are, um, it's a slogan, you know, Jadior or Jador that um, has been going on and on and on and that brands have been putting out there because it's just, it's, just, it's the thing that drives us girls crazy because we think about Sex and the City, we think about Carrie and we're like, oh, I need that Jador tea. And, um, but I was always... You know, I always wanted to get the original one, obviously. And, but it was kind of difficult because, you know, it's Dior. I don't have a Dior boutique around me. And um, the Dior website, which, I mean, thanks God we have the Dior website that sells bags and accessories. But that website does not sell clothing. But I discovered the website uh, 24 Sèvres which is the name, the address of the department store in Paris, Le Bon Marché, which is like the equivalent of um, Galerie Lafayette. So they sell Dior and they sell the clothing. So the t-shirts, the sweaters, the skirts, they sell the whole Dior collection clothing wise. And when I discovered that, I think that was a bad thing because I obviously immediately made my account, made my wish list, put all the things that I wanted. And um, at first I had um, in my wish list the Dior Revolution t-shirt and the We Should All Be Feminist t-shirt. And I was debating, debating, debating because I thought, oh, I don't know, I don't know, it's very expensive. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And then I got sidetracked with all these other t-shirts. Then I kind of saw on Instagram that many girls were wearing the Jadior t-shirt. I thought, there it is again. Oh my God, the t-shirt I've always wanted. There it is again. So I thought, let me go and see if the Le Bon Marché uh, website has it. And they had it. They had it. Everything sold out. Just one size available. The L. My size. My usual size. If I could have gone for an M, maybe I would have gone for an M. Because these designer t-shirts, guys, I mean, except for the Dolce Gamana, they run big. Anyway. Enough with the ramble. Sorry about the ramble, but I just had to. Let's take a look. Ah, guys! God, I don't even want to touch it too much because what if I get it dirty? And I know I just put on my makeup and stuff. I mean, I would kill myself if I stay in this t-shirt. Anyway, guys! Jadio, number eight. I feel carry. I feel like I'm carry. Oh my god, all I need is Aiden or Mr. Big. I prefer Mr. Big and I need to be in Abu Dhabi in the supermarket. God, I love it guys. I love it so, so much. It's insane. I can't believe I finally have it. I finally have it. When, with the, when, with the, the, well, when did that movie come out? Maybe 10 years ago? I don't know when it came out. But it's been since then that I've been wanting this t-shirt, okay? It's insane. It's insane. And now I have it. I, at the time, actually, it wasn't Jadior. It was this Jador, I think. Now it's Jadior. Um, I don't know. Was it Jadior at the time? I don't remember. Anyway, whatever. Whatever. I love it. I love it. So, yeah, I got it. I got it, I got it, and I managed to get it, yes. I'm so excited, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's hysterical, my excitement is hysterical. And then a haul, it's not a haul without a pair of shoes, obviously, duh. Anyway, um, shoes. Um, if you saw my last video, which I'm sure you did, you saw that I bought a pair, my very first pair of Gucci loafers, and I bought them in the pink color. And boy, have I loved those shoes. I've been wearing them very much. 
those shoes. I've been wearing them a lot ever since I got them. They just go with everything. You know, the shoe, the loafer kind of shoe is a type of shoes that really goes with everything. You can wear them at work, you can wear them at your spare time, when you can wear them to run errands. They just look good all the time. They look good with jeans, they look good with, you know, a dress, skirts, everything. Loafers just look good with everything. So, yes, I've been wearing my Gucci loafers all the time and I've been surprised to see that even though they are pink, they just go with everything. They really, really do. Um, so it's quite a versatile color. I thought that pink was going to be, you know, a bit a little difficult to match. But because it's a, it's a muted pink, it's, it's a blush pink, um, it's easy to match. So, yes, loving it, loving it. And, obviously, the bad thing about the Gucci loafers is that once you have one, you want to get more. You want to get more in all the colors because they just go with everything. And I feel that Gucci, Gucci loafers also make you lazy. In the fact that once you have a pair of Gucci loafers, you kind of, you just want to wear those shoes, you know, like all the time. Those are all the shoes you want to wear. So, yeah, it's, 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 it's kind of tricky. Anyway, um, on Instagram, I saw the, that many girls also have the slides. And the slides is actually a, it, absolutely a type of shoe that I cannot wear. But there's a kind of slides that is really, really nice. It's the white slide with the gold drawings, with the gold beetle and the star and everything. And um, everybody was wondering if Gucci was going to make the loafer version of that design. Well, one fine day, or actually one fine evening before going to bed, I was like, let me check out the Gucci loafers, the Gucci website, and see if there are, you know, any new loafers coming out, and if maybe they have the white loafer of, you know, with the, with the bees and the stars. Anyway, that pattern. Well, they did. And it was on pre-order. And this was about a month and a half ago. So like, my eyes literally popped out of my face. I was like, oh God, I can't believe it. Obviously, I put myself on the wish list immediately. And they arrived just yesterday. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. I haven't worn them yet. But I just had to show you. Look at these loafers and how amazing they are, how amazing they look. They are the prettiest thing on earth. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I'm so, so happy that Gucci decided to make the Gucci loafers of this kind of pattern because it is such the perfect uh, spring-summer shoe. I mean, just like the pink version, I can wear this with everything all the time. So this is what the shoe looks like. At first, when I used to see the shoe online, like on pictures and stuff, I thought that these um, logos, we can say, were hardware logos. Actually, they are not because they are stitched. These are actually drawings that are made of, I mean, they're stitchings, you know, I mean, it's not hardware, they are actual stitchings. So it makes it even more precious and amazing. I love the bee. I love the stars. I like the fact that it's white. This shoe is the Jordan loafers. Yes, whereas the pink ones are the Brixtons, which are softer. In fact, that those ones are made of a much softer leather. This one, as you can see, it's like stiff. I mean, you can't move the shoe or bend it or anything. It is stiff. I got the same size as the pink one, so size-wise they don't change. But um, yeah, it's, it's a completely different um, feel to it. Uh, this one is like a regular stiff hard loafer, which I love just the same. And yeah, it has the gold hardware, so you know, all the gold details. Just so pretty. Oh my god. And I haven't had them sold yet but i will because you just have to these shoes are super super slippery and um they will get ruined if you don't uh, put a sole on under the shoe anyway so just do it i mean you spend so much on your shoes why not you know spend a little extra get them sold and you know have a little bit of peace of mind that the shoes will actually last you much much longer so yeah these are what the shoes look like and i am so so happy they are currently available i want to say only on the gucci website or at least for now this is where i saw them 
I'm pretty sure all the other websites will be getting them. But my advice, if you're looking, if you're thinking about getting them, get them now so you get you can get you know a lot of use out of them. Um, because I see the, I see these loafers more as a spring summer kind of loafer because you know it's white and it has the drawings. So you know white is all it's always easier to wear in the warmer seasons. So yeah. And then last but not least, I got two denim skirts from ASOS, okay? So we're going from luxury to ASOS. I mean, don't you just love it? Um, I wanted to get some denim skirts because I feel that denim skirts are actually a very versatile piece. They can go with all the t-shirts that I got. They can go with the loafers. I mean, can you see how much you can wear these loafers? They go with everything, I'm telling you. So yes, I got this. Uh, I wanted to get a dark wash and a light wash uh, because I've been loving the denim from ASOS. I got other jeans from the ASOS Petite line, which I'm addicted to already. And I decided to try out the skirts as well. Well, it wasn't, uh, I mean, it wasn't a fail at all. Thanks God I did. So this is the first skirt I got. I'll put pictures, obviously. And it fits great. I really like the uh, um, the ruching uh, at the bottom. I feel it adds a very nice touch, a very feminine cutie uh, touch. So yeah, that's the first one. And then this is the second one over here uh, in a lighter wash. This one just goes straight. This is actually more a mini denim skirt, but um, I love it. It's a very it's a very cute piece. I mean, we all girls have to have. A denim skirt I mean don't we so yeah guys this is all for the haul um, these are all the items that I wanted to show you guys um, I didn't buy all these items in one go obviously uh, the purchases were stretched out throughout the month of May which is my birthday month and which is which is also the reason why I got quite uh, overboard and excited oh my god that Jadior t-shirt let me just tell you I can't wait to wear it and I will obviously put uh, pictures of everything on Instagram so definitely follow me on Instagram because um, I always put outfit pictures and things like that uh, and I tag all the brands so you know it's very easy to see uh, the brands that I am wearing anyway um, thank you so much for watching uh, please please subscribe if you're not it's free so why not subscribe I will definitely appreciate it a lot if you subscribe I would even appreciate it more if you comment this video, tell me which t-shirt is your favorite. Uh, if you are thinking of buying a designer tee, let me know. And um, don't forget to thumbs up this video as well. And until my next video, bye-bye.